Hello, my name is Alison Warrington, the CEO of Community Based Support. First off, Happy New Year to all of our clients across the state. I hope you managed to catch up with family and friends over the holiday season. I know for many of our clients and staff, they were looking forward to seeing family members who had been interstate for many, many months last year and unable to travel to Tasmania. As we look to the year ahead, I hope that you can begin to be more positive. I know we have all watched what has been happening in other states with concern. However, while there have been hotspots in Brisbane and Sydney, as well as some hotel quarantine infections in Victoria, all seem to be under control at this point. Once again, we can thank our lucky stars that we live in Tasmania. We are safe and coronavirus free. But in order for that to remain the situation, everyone in Tasmania must continue to abide by the minimal rules that are in place. When you go into a venue for a meal or a drink with friends or to go to the movies, you must check in. That means you or someone you are with uses the QR code that all venues should display at the front of house, or at minimum a sign-in sheet should be available. It only takes seconds and will keep you and your family and friends safe if an outbreak should ever occur again in Tasmania. I, for one, am being very positive about the rollout of the various vaccines as they become available throughout Australia from February. Aged care and disability staff have been identified as priority for the vaccine, as well as the elderly and at risk in our community, which is very positive for all of our clients, the majority of whom will fit into those categories. On a national level, while there are outbreaks, this is what we will have to live with until the vaccine is completely rolled out. But by and large, that will not affect our way of life in Tasmania. As I said, we all need to remain vigilant and follow the directions of the Tasmanian health authorities. I have faith in Premier Peter Gutwin and his health care team to keep Tasmania and Tasmanians safe now and into the future. If and when we get the chance to get vaccinated, please do so, because that will keep you safe in the long term. We may have to keep having coronavirus vaccines for years to come, much like we have all had the flu jab for many years. And please remember, keep washing your hands.